Share with those. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Keith here again. And in this video, we are going to quickly look at a how to perform a save as in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to open up a file and I'm going to be using JAWS 2020 screen reader and we are going to be looking at the uh, Microsoft Word that's in the Office 365. So we're going to open up a cover letter. It's a Microsoft Word document. We're going to press enter on this. Now let's say that <clears throat> I use this as just a template and what I want to do is, is take this template and I want to perform a save as let me make sure I'm at the top so okay so I just I, I want to use this as a template but I want to change the name now the first way um, to start is to press F12 F12 save as dialog file name colon edit combo cover letter dot docs okay so the first thing this is going to do is pull up and put you a dialog and it's going to put you in the file name area so here it's already ha it already has the old file name selected so we can just start typing our new one so we're going to say test -E um, space -E cover space -E 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 letter so we'll say test cover letter and then um, if I press alt s it will save it in the current directory I am that I opened the cover letter in the first place. So, but if I shift tab Edit, type in text here. Requested and I shift tab twice and what it does is now it's got me in a, a list view of the files in this directory that I'm saving it in. Now, if we come through here and actually try to down air through this to look around. Now you remember I just named it test resume. Now if I stop on people first and I say okay I'm in the right location and I tab. Okay so you hear now the file name is people first resume. So you don't want that to happen. Um, what you want to do is I'm going to rename this back to um, test cover letter and then I'm going to shift tab up to uh, we're going to shift tab three times so one two three it's going to put you in a tree view now here's where you can kind of look around a little bit so if you're looking for something specific or somewhere you want to put it so I'm just going to put it back in the same location but I'm going to show you how to get there from this tree view so I'm going to look for documents. I can either down arrow, up arrow, or I can do that with first letter. So I'm going to hit D for Delta. E, level one. Desktop, left parent, pinned, right parent. Now I know that I have a few pinned items for OneDrive, so I'm going to skip through these by pressing D uh, multiple times. D, download D, documents, left D, Dropbox D, level two, desktop closed. Okay, so now I'm back in my regular uh, computer folders. Documents closed. And then now I've found documents. So I'm gonna press um you can press right arrow on this. Documents opened. 40. Level three. Advanced. Now I know what I'm looking for is my resume, so I'm just gonna press M Y. Y. My resume apostrophe is closed. And that was just M Y one after the other. So now we can um, press right arrow on this to see what my resume apostrophe is open. One item. Now it's only going to show folders. Level four. Requested information. One to one. Now we don't want to put it in any folder. Level three. So we Main we press the left arrow to close it, and then we press up arrow to get back. Main folder underlined fall semester. My resume apostrophe is open. To my resumes. So we're going to down arrow. Level four. Requested information. Oh, sorry. So we're going to left arrow on this. Level three. My resume apostrophe is open. One now we left arrow again on my resume. My resume apostrophe is closed. Twenty six. Okay, so now it's closed again. Now that it's closed, we can press enter on this. And now you have two options since we know where we're at. You can either press Alt S right here to save, 
or you can tab but again you do not want to down arrow up here to select anything let's make sure the file name is still right all right we see it's still right so i'm gonna press alt s now to save or you can tab down to save okay so now if we read our title charles key t all right, so we hear that that's um, the name we gave it. Now I'm going to alt tab back over to the directory, my resumes. My resume apostrophe S yes, to move to an item. All right, so I'm going to look for it in here. Oh, requested info. And to find it, I'm just going to do first letter navigation. So T is in Tango. E, test dash cover dash letter dot dot. All right, and we see it right here. So, okay, so that's going to end this video. If you like, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe and uh, click that notification icon to get um, uh, the notifications when I come out with a new upload. Uh, I will be doing videos like this, especially with PowerPoint, Excel, all Microsoft Office products, and then moving into um, other applications. And I also do programming videos as well. So uh, if you're already a sub subscriber, thank you very much for watching, and I hope everyone enjoyed.